اولا با عرض سلام به دوستان و با تشکر شما گفتین که پنل به فارسی باشم با اجازه شما من انگلیسی جواب ندم انگلیسی برام میمونه راحت تره um, I think you raise a very very important question it's a question that sort of ties into what um, the other panelists have been talking about um, which is whether or not the the provision in the constitution can be made consistent um, with international human rights standards and i think um, the provision that was just read out the fact that you know the political crimes have to be have to follow a certain procedure but those procedures have to be consistent with um, uh, islamic islamic law I, i think there's nothing unique about that provision i think that provision really symbolizes much of what is wrong with the iranian constitution um, and i think it speaks to precisely why um, injustice and um, violations of human rights are, are, are embedded into the into the islamic republic there's no getting away from it there's no reforming it there's no a good way of reading the constitution and i think it's precisely that it's is that um, first of all it talks about political crimes i mean the, the very notion of political crimes is is very questionable in international law i mean if you do accept the notion of free political participation if you do accept the notions of free speech um, freedom of association the notion of political crimes is already something of a, of a questionable concept um, and then there's the proviso there's the limitation everything is limited by what islamic law requires and i think that's the kind of provision you begin to see over once you become sensitive to it you begin to see that over and over again in the iranian constitution there is freedom of association so long as that's you know consistent with islamic law there is freedom of speech so long as it's consistent with islamic law that concept is repeated again and again and what it does is it actually creates this i believe unbreakable sort of conflict with international human rights standards um, and that's the same and, and that's that's sort of one fundamental problem with the Iranian constitution I think the other part of it um, that you begin to see is that it's based on a very medieval kind of notion of individual relations with each other and individual relations with the state and the fact that there are categories of people um, which are deemed non people um, so I think one of my co-panelists mentioned that that Iranian women um, are actually deemed to be non on people effectively their their testimony is worth you know half of that a man half that of a man so long as there's a man present w- without a man for example a, a woman's testimony even if there are 100 women in many cases that testimony is worthless there are categories of religious believers bahais for example who are non people under um the the constitution um so i think it's it's these issues that once you begin to think about them you begin to see these categories of non people you begin to see the limitations based on islamic law that you begin to realize that injustice and inequality and repression is embedded in the very dna of the islamic republic there is no getting away from it there is no reforming it there is no as i said there's no good reading of this constitution that that's going to somehow set us off on a liberal path it it needs a fundamental reworking and a fundamental rethinking به نظر شما ما نمیتونیم در محافل بین المللی احتمالاً طرح بکنیم موضوع غیر قانونی بودن حالا صرف نظر از خیلی حرف و ایده هست متناسب با این قانون اساسی نمیتونیم حتی راجع به اون هم بحث حقوقی در دنیا yeah. مطرح بکنیم باز کنیم مجبورتون که این مسئله در در مثلا دادگاه های بین المللی مطرح بکنیم به هر حال دادگاه هایی که مشکلات خودشو داره حتی به صورت بحث مطرح بکنیم در دنیا. Yeah, I mean, I think as a discussion, it's it's certainly something that that human rights activists should should be engaged in. The the problem, I think, from a legal standpoint, is that there is no. I mean, you know this probably far better than I do. There is no legal forum for us to take this kind of um, argument. Um, we can certainly make it in civil society. We can make it in the media. We can make it to politicians. There is no legal forum at the moment for us um, to be making these kinds of arguments against against the Islamic Republic. I, I think that's a that's a great question, and I'm, I'm I thank you for asking, and thank the, the person that sent the question. And I, I think um, ultimately the the debate that was brought up is is not a new debate. I mean, it's it's ultimately an old debate about whether or not um, you have these universal values of human rights or you have certain cultural values. And I think the argument, if if you take that argument and the the question that was asked and frame it slightly differently, that's really what's at stake. The 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 question being asked is. our our culture may not be consistent with international human rights our people's uh, general feelings may not be consistent with international human rights that argument has never really held in in international human rights debates at the end of the day um the argument that is won out and i think it's the better argument is that there are certain minimum standards that we have to abide by um and i think those um minimum standards don't 
include public hangings in, in, in the town square and, and having people come out. They don't include, um, you know, I, I go back to this point, having categories of people be deemed non-citizens. Um, that's not really part of our culture. And even if there are small pockets of our society that have that culture. Um, I think it's, it's, the, it's the government's role, and I think it's the law's role, um, to um, embody something of a better ideal. And I think the Iranian law falls short there. And I, think, I don't think it's even necessarily fair for us to point to the few hundred or thousand people that come out to one of these public hangings. Contrast that with the, with the three million people that came out in the span of a few days. Um, after the, the fraudulent elections in 2009 to actually speak out and say that they demand democracy. Um, and I think this actually goes back to um, the, the discussion generally about reform versus um, some sort of fundamental rethinking. Um, I think it was interesting that the, those people initially came out, three million people came out initially with banners saying, with posters saying, where's my vote? But that very, very quickly changed. The message very quickly radicalized. And I think what that, that speaks to is a certain yearning for something other than just a reform or just putting a mask on sort of the Islamic Republic as it exists. I think what it, what it spoke to was a yearning for something fundamentally different. Uh, ام یه سری ام کانونسیونه بنونری امضا کرده این مسئولیت قانونیشونه که یه سری استانداردها رو باید بهشون احترام بزنن بعدا احترام گذاشته نمیشه بیشتر راجع به این مسئله تحصیل دختران صحبت میکنم because it's um, frankly a, a, an argument that comes up again and again and it's uh, typically used by people who either support the government or, or, or are sympathetic to the government to, to advance, uh, advance that argument um, I've, I've never really been convinced by it. I, I think the numbers, the numbers are correct. I mean, uh, Iranian women um, are educated in higher numbers. But I think if you, if you look at any other indicator, um, what you find is that women um, lag behind and that there really is a, a system of gender discrimination. I would go further, a system of gender apartheid in place. Um, if you look at women's um, employment, those numbers lag behind considerably. If you look at women's um, de facto or de jure rights, those lag behind considerably. The mere fact that women go to school and get educations, I think, um, is in and of, I mean, it's, it's, it's good, I, I suppose, in and of itself, but if it's not connected to some other indicator, some other method of progress, um, it becomes sort of an, a meaningless indicator. So I, I've never really been very convinced by that.